If, like me, you're a fan of many different types of reverb, then you are in luck, because they all live in this little beauty. The Empress FX Reverb Pedal. Empress FX make extremely high quality pedals, but they always manage to cram in an absolute ton of tonal options, but in an interface that's super, super easy and intuitive to use. So no getting lost in overcomplicated menus, just a few twiddles, and you are making some good tones. So let's dive in and check out some riffs. So let's continue on from the intro riff, which was my interpretation of Radiohead's Daydreaming. And for that, I was using the delay and reverb mode. So you can get to set, you know, any of the delay parameters along with the reverb mix. So it's lovely clean, but if you chuck on some dirt, and I'm using another Empress pedal, the heavy. So really lovely for lead lines as well. Next up we're going to have a look at Rush, the speed of love. And I'm still using a subtle variation of the delay and reverb for the intro bit. part has some really synthy sounds and you can get those using the swell mode check this out Cool. The next mode I want to show you is modulation, and you get to add chorus, flanger, or tremolo to the reverb. So here's pretty much the standard out of the box patch, and we can do some classic Metallica. Another cool couple of patches you can use in the same song is Johnny Marr's live tone for How Soon Is Now. So for this one I'm using the tremolo modulation. That sounds great, but then for the chorus he actually changes to a plate reverb. So check this out. you're back into the main riff. Now as well as a plate reverb mode you've also got a hall reverb mode with a few options. Let's check one of those out now with some Fleetwood Mac and Albatross. Next up, one of my favourites, the spring reverb mode, and this has got some cracking little sub settings as well. Obviously we have to mention this one. Now this one's particularly cool because not only can you adjust the amount of spring, i.e. the... from like nothing to to lots of spring, but you can also control the amount of dirt that you get, right? So that's pretty clean. And then all the way around. So you can really get those Pulp Fiction tones going. One of the other spring reverb modes is more of a, a clean Fender-y type affair. Perfect for a bit of John Mayer. Now another one of my favourite modes is Sparkle. This is brilliant for loads of stuff, but I really love it for organ type parts. And so let's do a little bit of Love Boat Captain, shall we? Let 
me run through some of the more unconventional modes. We've got reverse, which is awesome. I really like that for the intro to Pearl Jam's Inside Job. Again, it's really useful for getting some of those shoegaze tones like uh, My Bloody Valentine. Just creates a really huge sounding part. Now you can have a lot of fun with the beer setting. I do love beer. This is called the Destroyer Pad. Check it out. Who doesn't like Jaws? Uh, the lo-fi mode is lots of fun too. You can get those radio tones that I showed you for the Empress Echo System delay. But I really love this warble setting, which is basically adds a bit of distortion. So this is my, this is a clean signal, right? And this is all coming from the pedal. <laughs> bit of even flow for you so i hope you've enjoyed this one i've only really scratched the surface there's a ton of stuff you can do with it it's got a looper built in and all sorts of other stuff that i haven't even touched but one last mode ghost check it out very spooky resonance so allow me to play you out with radiohead's daydreaming ghost style see you soon